I was a junior in high school, I think, and my English class and the senior English class got into a bus and we went to a student matinee of the Cherry Orchard. I had never seen a play before like that and I, I had never seen beautiful sets and really good actors and beautiful costumes. It made us feel things so deeply in a way that I had never experienced and I kind of thought, geez, I would like to do this. Um, and it all started here. There are a lot of pieces that it takes to make great theater, from housing, to actors, to the set crew, to costume shop. All of those pieces have to come together and work in sync in order for us to create a great product and to have a great event for people to come to. I've sort of designed three or four shows a year for the past 13 years. With very little money and fewer resources, um, we're able to do work that, that is some of the best in the country. I work at lots of theaters. This is an expert production department. They get stuff, you know, up on that stage and you go, wow, I did not know that would be possible when we started this thing. Those things are exciting to me. The people that I've worked here, the interns, they're always so enthusiastic and, uh, uh, and acceptable to almost anything. They just want to learn. I am from England. For me, Portland Stage is just much bigger opportunity. There's a lot more going on here than there is in terms of internships in, in England. The housing's completely all paid for and bills and everything and then we get a, a stipend on top of that. I started here as an intern for 2001-2002. A lot of people don't understand we actually make all of the things that you see that went across the stage. This is my third time here at Portland Stage. The audience I think is, is sophisticated. I think the audience feels that it is their home theater and I, I think they like to come. I think someone sent it to Anita. She read it and said, let's work on this. And she did it at the Little Festival of the Unexpected. And then it premiered in the fall of 2004. I became intrigued by Portland Stage. I then came up with the idea to have a children's theater. We had a meeting with Anita Stewart. And when I told her my idea, she was speechless. And she was thrilled. She thought it sounded great. With older kids, with, with high school students, we bring them into the early show program. They attend the main stage productions and have a, a discussion with the cast and with the crew after the performance. They receive an education pack, which along with the other directing and dramaturgy interns, we compile a, um, just a, a small booklet of uh, background information, interviews with the, the playwright, the director. So what choices did you make to make that and what did you take out? Certainly having the actors come back after the performance and talk to them about the play and about their characters uh, is terrific. Whenever I leave here, I always feel like the experience that the kids have had has been as good as it gets. One of the other components that this involves is to have a, uh, an outreach education person from Portland Stage come to the classroom. We'll go over all the theatrical components of the, uh, of the show and what, where all the possibilities and the decision making and it's always a positive experience. We hire locally 24 staff members who are here during our season. We bring on 10 interns for a season. We're also bringing in actors from across the country. There's also about 50,000 people who come to Portland Stage each year, and those people are coming into downtown Portland. They're going out to eat. They're having a great time. I'd say it's very important to the arts in Southern Maine. We're extremely um, grateful for Portland Stage because without them, I wouldn't have a business here. This is really the, um, the crown jewel of professional theater for this region. But exactly how far? I think it supports the community. It talks to the community. I think that this quality that is produced here at Portland, Maine is unusual, excellent. People of Southern Maine should be incredibly, incredibly grateful that they have this quality of theater uh, close by to take part in. It 
did really well here. It premiered in New York a year later. After it got published, it started to slowly be done at regional theaters all over the country. And it all started here. I owe them a great debt. They've given me a career as a playwright.